there's something huge happening in Africa. The earth is restless. Beneath East Africa, something ancient is awakening. The ground trembles, the land splits, and an ocean is being born. A new ocean is forming right there. A part of Africa is drifting away, undergoing a slow yet unstoppable transformation that will one day divide an entire continent. Imagine standing where the land beneath your feet is breaking apart, where fire rises from the depths and the very fabric of the earth is shifting. Scientists have been watching, leaders have been worrying, Having got here now, I wish we could stay three, four days, maybe even a week. This is just geologic heaven. Oh, this is fantastic. And among them is former US President Donald Trump. His concerns? How this monumental event might reshape not just Africa, but the balance of power across the globe. This is just another sign of how the world is changing and it's changing fast. This video explores the birth of a new ocean and the geopolitical ripples it will create. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. September 2005, the Afar Depression, Ethiopia. The air is thick with dust and fear. In just one week, over 130 earthquakes shake the land, cracking the earth open. Villagers flee, leaving behind homes that may never stand again. Then, the Dabahu volcano erupts. Fiery magma bursts through the surface, darkening the sky with ash. But this isn't just another volcanic event. It's something much bigger. The Earth is stretching, breaking, creating a rift that will never close. For geologists, it's a revelation. A process that should take millions of years is unfolding in mere days. Satellite images capture the Somali and Nubian plates slowly pulling apart, signaling the birth of a future ocean. The East African Rift, a vast geological scar stretching over 3,000 kilometers, is a sign of what's to come. But this story isn't just about science, it's about power. When geography shifts, so does control. Having got here now, I wish we could stay three, four days, maybe even a week. This is just geologic heaven. Oh, this is fantastic. The birth of a new ocean is more than just a geological marvel. It's a transformation that will reshape global power, trade, and economies. New waterways mean new trade routes, naval bases, and strategic territories up for grabs. The Red Sea, already one of the world's busiest maritime highways, could soon link to this ocean, creating a fresh artery for global commerce. But with opportunity comes competition. Who will control these waters? Who will claim the untapped riches hidden beneath oil, minerals, and vast fishing grounds? A fortune lies beneath the waves, waiting for those bold enough to seize it. China, with its deep investments in Africa's infrastructure, sees this as a golden chance to expand its influence. The US, wary of losing its grip, keeps a close watch. The United States needs to be strong to lead China and Russia. They're making moves. We have to watch them closely. Meanwhile, African nations stand at a pivotal moment. Some may prosper with new coastlines, increased trade and economic growth. Others may struggle facing displacement and instability as the land beneath them shifts. This isn't just a story of science, it's a battle for the future. The world is changing quite literally, and those who prepare will decide how the next chapter unfolds. At the heart of this transformation is the East African Rift, a place where the earth itself is breaking apart. It's a process of destruction, but also creation. One day, tens of millions of years from now, Africa will be split in two, separated by a vast, uncharted ocean. But this is not just a distant future. Change is already happening. The ground trembles with earthquakes, volcanoes spew molten rock, and landscapes shift beneath people's feet. Entire communities rooted in these lands for generations now face an uncertain future. Will their homes survive? Will their farmlands still provide? For the people living along the rift, this is not just a scientific phenomenon. It's real, and it's personal. They wake up to the sounds of cracking earth and shifting ground, watching as nature reshapes their world. Some may be forced to leave, seeking safety elsewhere. Others might find new opportunities in the changing terrain. But one thing is certain, as the land fractures, so too will old power structures, economies, and borders. A new world is emerging, and those who adapt will be the ones who thrive. Yet, amid destruction, there is beauty. Towering escarpments, vast valleys, shimmering lakes, Reminders that Earth is not just a place we inhabit, but a force that shapes us. The rift lakes, like Tanganyika and Malawi, are not just water bodies. They are glimpses of the ocean that will come. The land is already sinking, already whispering the arrival of the sea. Trump's concern isn't just about science, it's about the unknown. Now I'm concerned about the superpowers. The world's most powerful nations depend on stability, but nature doesn't follow human plans. 
It moves at its own pace, shifting landscapes, reshaping borders, and reminding us that we are not in control. The question is, how will the US and other global powers react to Africa's changing landscape? Will new alliances emerge to navigate these shifts? Will military forces expand their presence, seeing opportunity in the uncertainty? Will foreign investments pull back, or will they pivot toward new frontiers? The balance of power is built on predictability, but when the ground itself is shifting, nothing is certain. For the people living along Africa's Great Rift Valley, this isn't some distant scientific theory, it's their reality. Every day, they witness the land beneath their feet changing in ways past generations never imagined. Rivers that once nourished farmlands are drying up or carving new paths through the terrain. The rains, once predictable, now come too late, too early, or not at all. Crops struggle under erratic weather, and the very ground that homes and villages rest upon is cracking, moving, reshaping itself. In some places, the earth splits apart, leaving deep scars that remind everyone nothing is permanent. Yet, this is not only a story of destruction, it is also a story of adaptation, of resilience, of possibility. Change is frightening, but it also brings opportunity. As the land fractures, new formations rise, lakes, valleys, and ecosystems waiting to be discovered. The very forces that threaten stability also create something new. What was once solid ground may one day become an inland sea. What was once farmland may give way to new industries, new economies, and new ways of life. Africa has endured immense changes throughout history, and time and time again, its people have found ways to survive and thrive. But what happens next? That's the question the world must face. Will powerful nations rush to stake their claim in this transforming land, seeing strategic advantages in the upheaval? Will Africa take control of its own destiny, using these changes to fuel innovation and economic growth? Or will global leaders underestimate the urgency of this transformation until it's too late? Until the ocean, already in motion, reshapes the map before anyone is ready? No one has all the answers, but one thing is undeniable. The earth is shifting and the world must move with it. Whether we choose to fight against it, adapt to it or ignore it, nature will continue its course. The only question left is, will we be prepared? The ground beneath East Africa does not wait. It stretches, it shakes, it splits. The ocean that will one day divide a continent is already whispering its arrival. The world's leaders watch, strategize and worry. But for the people who live here, this is not just a shift in power, it is their home, their lives, their future. And for all of us, it is a reminder that the earth is alive, that change is inevitable, and that no nation, no empire, no power is beyond the reach of time. If this story moved you, stay with us for more explorations into the forces shaping our world. The past, the present, the future, it is all connected. Subscribe, stay curious, and until next time, watch the earth beneath your feet, because it is always moving.